unfortunately the whole world is responsible for illegal fishing. Approaches come from pretty much all around the world. Sea Shepherd is a marine conservation group. We throw a pretty big punch for such a small organization. We don't shy away from stopping an illegal activity by blocking the ship with our ship. Stand by for possible impact. And sometimes that results in pretty intense situations. Going out on ships out in the ocean and saving wildlife. And lately, we're working with governments to protect waters that they are unable to protect because of lack of resources. Each country that we're operating in with the governments we're catching poachers pretty much on a daily basis. Our longest uh, campaign was probably the chase of the thunder, and the most notorious of the six uh, Patagonian toothfish poachers. They had been fishing illegally for over a decade. They were escaping law enforcement, they were changing the names, they were changing the colors of the vessels, they were changing the registration, and they were able to avoid prosecution for a long time. We set out to find the thunder, and we found them pretty much within a day. Balaclava man's got something to throw. We followed them through, through the ice, through storms, they tried to shake us, they tried to wait us out, and our captain pretty much decided he's gonna stay with them for as long as it takes. And our crew was dedicated to stay with them as long as it takes. It ended up being a 110 day long chase, the longest maritime chase in history, until the captain became so desperate that in an attempt to destroy the evidence, he sank his own vessel. So our crew went on board while the ship was sinking, and the captain had already disembarked, and they secured laptops, charts, computers, and cameras. So if water comes into one area, it goes into the next. Goes into the next, and into the next. Um, so everything that can flood was open. So we were able to present that evidence to the courts, and the captain and the engineers were convicted to uh, jail time. By 2048, the oceans will be devoid of commercially exploitable fish. Between 15 and 40 percent of all fish that's caught globally is caught in some illegal way. And that's what we're hoping to shine a spotlight on. People often think that you can't make a difference. People often think, like, you know, I'm just one person, what can I do? Well, the governments are not going to fix it. All the big changes are being brought forward by individuals. Think about your own ecological footprint and try to minimize it as much as possible. Your impact on the planet is affecting life on the planet. So think about all the choices you make in life and try to make the most responsible choice.